Good morning, everyone. This is Jennifer Sandoval. Thank you so much for joining me this morning to talk about the doTERRA One Convention that just finished, the 2016 doTERRA Global Convention that just finished in Salt Lake City last week. It was September 14th through 17th. Um, this is my attempt to summarize the inspiration and motivation and information that we experienced while we were there last week. Um, my husband, Dominic, and I attended. Um, it was my second year. It was his first. And we are so grateful that we got to attend. Um, so I'm going to be sharing with you some of the information that was given there by the executives and scientists and doctors and leaders in the company, um, as well as showing you the new products that were introduced. So I hope you have a nice cup of coffee or something on this Saturday morning and um, you're ready to hang out. This will be about an hour presentation and I look forward to hanging out with you and sharing this. And if you have any questions along the way, um, Let's see, I think you can just pop in and share that. I believe you can, just you need to unmute yourself if you do that. Um, we'll do a live Q&A at the end. Um, or you can just write it onto the event page. So please make sure that you have joined this event on Facebook. Um, just click on the event through Essential Oils Live Well, Live Free. It's the doTERRA 2016 Global Convention Summary Event. Um, click on that, make sure you've joined, and you can add any of the questions there to the group so that everyone can see them and make sure that everyone's hearing the answer. All right, guys, let's do it. So first of all, oh, let's go back. First of all, I wanted to let you guys know that the doTERRA convention is for everyone. So my husband and I are choosing to do the business side of things. Um, that has developed over the last year and a half since we've been with doTERRA. But it's really for everyone. You do not even need to be enrolled in doTERRA to attend the event. So it's for users and people who just like sharing a little bit and people who are building the business. The event is focused on the science, on announcing new products, which they only do at global convention every year where the sourcing of all the products comes and the company standards, as well as the humanitarian products, projects, which for me, that's really my favorite part of doTERRA. It's hard to say. I mean, I love what we get from the products. Absolutely. That's why we're here. But what really made me fall in love with the company was what they do for our global community. This was the largest event in Utah history. So this is 30,000 people attended, attended this year's convention. Um, it's so much fun. The whole city just really lights up. We kicked off convention by going to the gala. I highly recommend going to gala if you're going to attend convention. I did not go last year and I had so much fun going this year. Um, it's a black tie event and it celebrates the leaders of the company. So everyone who's new diamonds, new blueprints, new diamonds, blue diamond, the presidential diamond, and just shares their journey a little bit and their tips to success. Um, which, it's not just about the business. All of these people have helped other people so much. And that's what I love about doTERRA also is that we are not encouraged to just make money. That's not what it's about. It's about changing lives. It's about expanding your community and giving people hope. Um, when we arrived, we received the doTERRA One roller. Um, let's see if I can. I want to show this for you for a second. Oh, show this to you. See if I can do that. Can you see me here in the corner? Oh, maybe that'll be good. Okay. Um, I can expand myself a little bit. Oh, that's me. I'm still learning Zoom for everyone who's on board. Um, good morning. So. As soon as we walked in the door for Gala, um, we received this. We received the one roller, this pretty little box. And we were so excited. And it has this roller inside. And these are not for sale. They're just, just for the Gala attendees. So that's another great reason to attend is that you get exclusive stuff. So it smells, I've been sharing it with everyone who I see lately. This is our one. 
to share because we know it's special and I'm so glad that we both went, that Dominic and I both went so that we got two of them because this is treasure. It's already, it's already, I think we're already about halfway through it and it's only been a week. Um, but the, the message that's on here is fantastic. doTERRA so one, which is the theme of the convention, combines essential oils from countries around the world that overcome countries that overcome hardships through the strength and support of working together. Enjoy the grounding and strengthening aroma of one essential oil blend. But more importantly, let this blend remind you that in each tragedy, success, disaster, or helping hand, we are one. I love this company. They're just, ooh, they're my people, you know? They believe in a greater cause and they're out there doing it every day. So just so you know how good this smells, um, it's a mix of Lang Lang, Frankincense, Vetiver, Douglas Fir, Cardamom, and Melissa. Um, which we'll talk about Melissa later, but it's not for sale right now. It hasn't been for sale. Um, and what my team decided last night when they were all over trying it is that what we love the most in it is a Douglas Fir. Douglas Fir is really what sticks out, which is another co impact source that just came out last year. So that's the one roller. So go to the gala. So much fun, delicious food, really great company. It's so fun. You get to meet some amazing people. So Gayla is great. Go to that. I'm going to click myself out now. Let's go back. There we go. All right. Um, There we go. I want to take a second to tell you about our team because I would not have gone to the convention or I would not have been able to go to the convention if it wasn't for the generosity of our team. Um, last year, our, our team leader, Kyla Fennell, she put out a post on our Facebook group and said, is there anyone who would like to go to convention who just can't make it happen financially? We'll help get you there. And I took her up on that offer, and so did, I think, five other people. And they were so generous in sponsoring my trip. Her and Roxanne and James Spivey sponsored my trip, um, got me there. I brought my 14-month-old son, two other moms on our team, one from Sweden, one from Hawaii. They also brought their one-year-old children, and they got us a house. And it was just so awesome to be able to meet our team and go to convention and experience that all together that I understood the value of going to convention and what it can mean for my community and how I can bring that back. So I'm so happy that there was more of us there this year that I was able to share that with my husband. Um, Natalie and Andy Goddard are, are top, top of, the, of our team. And just so you know, this is the best team in doTERRA, hands down. These are the most generous, supportive people I've ever met. Um, the, the Goddards hosted a dinner for all of us, and that was so inspirational. They did again this year, and oh my gosh, the, just the message that they send is just so full of love and inspiration that you just you can't even believe it. It's so wonderful. So we got to convention, right? Actually, I'm going to go back for a second. This the picture down here at the bottom where you can see Dominic and so, some of us in the car. Um, that's our team. That, the generosity and support from our team leaders, it trickles down and it becomes part of our community. So we are so blessed that we had Crystal, who's the driver in this seat, and Stacy and Alan in the back, and their baby's actually there in the car seat. Um, the, they just came and picked us up from the airport. We weren't even expecting it. We thought we'd need to Uber. They were there waiting for us at the airport just to pick us up and give us rides the whole time. So that generosity just trickles down. So we're so grateful for Crystal and our team. All right, so convention started and here we go with all of the information. I can't give you all of it because it's a three day event, but get ready to take some notes or just soak it all up. This is David Sterling. He is the one of the founding executives and the CEO of doTERRA. He's an incredible person. Um, he reviewed with us some of the business success that doTERRA is happening. 
having. So you can see here, in 2015, they received the Verified Market Leader Award with the quote, doTERRA is singularly responsible for the rapid growth of the essential oils market. Um, in the Natural, Natural Products Association, listed them as the top 25 businesses, they were number two. They are, they've created a $7.4 billion industry, which is expected to be $14 billion in the next seven years, which is tremendous growth. Um, every year, the company has doubled in size, which is incredible. My husband, Dominic, he is a business major, so he loved hearing all of this stuff. Um, and he works for, he works for one of the top, top 50 companies in the world right now but he was so impressed to hear all of the business success of them. Um, one of their goals was to create something mainstream to make doTERRA's mainstream but that means that more businesses are trying to enter the industry so what you might have seen in this past year is that Walmart has essential oils, Target has essential oils, um, they're everywhere and it's really, really scary. Honestly, once you are part of the essential oil community, you understand that this is a threat to a lot of people's health and a lot of people's perception of what essential oils are. Um, with so many people trying to enter the industry, they have no commitment to the quality. And this is not an add-on product. This is not an afterthought. You can't just go and say, oh, we can make essential oils too. It's something that takes a lot of focus on the sourcing and making sure that you're distilling the highest quality um, essential oils, and that is a lifelong commitment for doTERRA. Dr. Hill and the medical board have established 111 relationships with universities and hospitals and practitioners that are all using doTERRA. Um, doTERRA is the most trusted and tested Therefore, it's what our partners exclusively use in their practice and research because, well, we'll talk about it later, but when it comes to medical and science, you've got to have consistency. For doTERRA, quality cannot and will not be compromised. So they leave no expense behind. They, they don't cut any expenses. They make sure that everything is done to the highest quality possible, period. The number of wellness advocates for doTERRA has doubled each year and it continues that growth. The first convention only had 350 people. This convention had 30,000 people and the company has only been around since 2008. It's only its eighth year. So the growth is tremendous and um, doTERRA is singularly responsible for that rapid growth of the essential oils industry. The Loyalty Rewards Program, for most of us, we participate in that rewards program. It's the most generous in the industry. They gave away $144 million of new product, new and free product last year. Um, I know I get free stuff every single month. Every single month I'm getting freebies from doTERRA and I love that because I'm going to make the investment anyway and they're investing back in me and my health. One of the big announcements, so here at the bottom you'll see October 1st, so what's that, next Saturday, one week from today, new shipping options are going to be available. So there's a new shipping op option for economy, that's two to five days, it's only $3.99 for shipping. So you might have to wait a couple extra days, but you're only paying $3.99 for shipping. And the standard shipping is now dropping down to $6.99 for that two to three day shipping time. It has been $8.99 regardless of your order for a long time. So I'm really excited about the new lower shipping and I know most of my team and everyone in our doTERRA community loves that new shipping option. So that was exciting news number one, what's new in the company. David also talked about um, one of our co-impact sources in Guatemala. Um, we have, it's the source of cardamom. It's a source that we've had a long time. But these relationships are ongoing and long lasting. So he's giving us an update that in the past year, they built two new cardamom dryers for the harvesters to use. And that's really cool because cardamom actually needs to be dried within 36 hours 
of being harvested. So in, do, in creating new dryers, it increased the income of 97 families by $720. And that's, a signif that's significant in their life. That's a really big increase and allows them to do so much more. Um, doTERRA executives and volunteers, they physically, volunteers, they physically helped to build the school that we have in Alta Vera Pass. Um, it's a vocational school. It serves 21 communities. Um, it also has a shower and kitchen, things like that. So it's not just a school. It's actually available for those communities if they need them. Um, it's a boarding school where the, the students there can stay for three to five months. It's the only school of its kind with nat national certifications, which gives these people a better chance at a better future. Um, if they have those national certifications in vocational trades, then they are able to provide better lives for their families and their community. Um, this school also has female graduates as well as males, so really big on empowering the females there. And the organic gardening education is included. Also in Guatemala, we partnered with Days for Girls. Days for Girls is a really beautiful organization that helps bring female education, female health education, um, where it is needed around the girl, around the world. Um, a lack of education regarding menstruation has led to really cruel treatment to women around the world just because they don't know. Their community doesn't know. So these little, little girls and young women, young women really, they're using mattress stuffing and dish rags and disgusting things just to try and keep themselves clean. Um, in a lot of cases, they're not allowed to stay in the house. They have to stay out with the livestock. Um, they're told that if they go into a river, if they touch a river during that time of the month, the river will dry up. If they touch a plant, the plant will die. Basically, they're told that they are disgusting. Something's wrong with them. They're sick, um, which we all know is not the case at all. Um, so they provide menstruation and hygiene education for girls and women. They give them, as you can see in this picture here, they give them feminine care bags, and these have reusable cloth pads that they can use, and it's all packaged for them, ready to go, so that they have something special that lets them know, I can take care of myself in a clean, hygienic way. Um, it was really beautiful to hear some of the things that they had been saying in this education to these women, and letting them know, you're healthy, you're powerful, you deserve respect. And that you have the gift of being a mother. That's what it means. It doesn't mean you have some disease. It means that you have an incredible gift of being able to produce life, to be a mother. One of our other co-impact sources is in Somalia. That's where we have frankincense. Um, 23 clans control 85% of the frankincense production. And what's incredible about that is that doTERRA has been that diplomatic entity to bring these plans together for the first time in history. Bringing them peace so that they're no longer warring community. They're actually working together to form a cooperative. doTERRA has now built three cooperatives for these plans and eight new warehouses for them to use. So the cooperatives are actually physical buildings where they can go and bring all of their harvest, sort the harvest, because it does take a lot of sorting, to figure out which frankincense um, is going to bring the highest quality. Um, since August 2015, they completed the boarding school for these communities, and that serves 215 students. And this month, they're actually starting a new boarding school. So not only are we bringing peace to these communities by forming a cooperative, but we're also bringing education by educating children of these communities. The schools are built with funds from the Healing Hands Foundation. The Healing Hands Foundation is the nonprofit kind of side of doTERRA, the humanitarian effort. Um, we make donations to them every month. If you buy the rose essential oil or the CDs that we have, 100% of those go to the Healing Hands Foundation. And the fees that, whenever you're running a nonprofit, there are fees involved. Those are 100% covered by the doTERRA executives. So back to the business side of things, David was telling us doTERRA is a debt-free company. Um, they don't have any big loans or anything like that out there. 
debt free. They have a solid, solid experience management team that are held to a high moral code. Um, he was telling them that they have, telling us they have a behavior or a moral kind of contract that they put into effect when they founded the company in 2008. And they have never had to use that. Everyone holds themselves to that higher standard. So they've never had to enforce anything from that contract because everyone's ethical. I love that. There's so many scandals on TV, on TV, on the news, whatever, about business now. And that's just not our leaders. They really um, are principled. He was saying, we live in a low trust world. Doterra is committed to being a high principled company who leads by example. So not falling into the traps of greed and unethical business. They're really focused on doing their best. So a couple of good quotes here that he shared. One from Abraham Lincoln, always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other, which they have completely committed to. The executives, if you don't know the story, in 2008 when they were starting, they didn't start with this giant company. It was very small. They were, they were refinancing their homes. They were emptying their 401ks. They put everything into making this work. And... They just kept that resolution and knew that they could be better, and they did. Be more concerned with your character than your reputation, because your character is what you really are, while your reputation is merely what others think you are. And I know that that's something that has come, been so significant to my husband and I as we stopped worrying what other people think and just started on this journey of personal development, and it's been incredible. And I have doTERRA to thank for that. This is Kirk Jowers. He was the next speaker on day one. Um, since 2008, doTERRA has become the largest essential oils company in the world. Again, no expense is spared in quality assurance and testing. Um, since 2015, they've raised more than $3 million for Healing Hands and partnered with 49 projects worldwide. So doTERRA is not only committed, again, they're not only committed to incredible essential oils, incredible products, but to the humanitarian aspect that they can bring to the world. We have the most extensive global network of sources with more than 100 oils from 43 different countries. In 2008, we started with just 25. 2016, we have 46 single oils as well as 82 blends and products. The company is just growing astronomically. They've received numerous awards. I didn't even want to list them all. There was, he went through the whole list. They've gotten so many awards including the Utah Best of the State for the second year. The Forbes, they're the number one business in Utah. They're the number 10 mid-sized employer in the United States. And he also went through a list of um, incredibly successful celebrities and athletes who depend on doTERRA every day. So Olympians, um, singers, songwriters, actors, politicians, business people, um, every realm, there's someone using essential oils who loves them. Emily Wright is one of our other founding executives. Um, anytime you have the chance to listen to Emily Wright, meet Emily Wright, hear her, anything you can do. Um, she is a, a beautiful, beautiful human being. And she comes with a message of, do you know how amazing you are? One of the things that was said last year at convention and continues to ring true for me in everything I do is that doTERRA is a personal development company wrapped up in essential oils. And she embodies that. Um, she told us a story that she didn't feel worthy of it. Before, um, before doTERRA, she, she was working really hard, but she didn't think that she deserved to be an executive. And when David Sterling brought that opportunity to her, she was so blown away. He had to convince her that she was amazing, that she really could do that. So she's been on her own personal development um, journey, as I think most of us who continue to grow with doTERRA realized that it's more about the personal development than anything. So when they're founding doTERRA, they had three main goals. One, focus on the purity and potency of essential oils. Two, educate and empower families and individuals. And three, take essential oils from a boutique niche to mainstream. 
Um, only, uh, which is one of the goals that we're going to talk about, there's so much of that. Only 0.006% of those using doTERRA essential oils report adverse reactions. Most of the information online is not referring to doTERRA essential oils. So I know that people come with questions to me or I'll read articles or blogs online warning about how dangerous essential oils are. And these are all the risks that are involved. Those do not refer to doTERRA essential oils. When you reach this level of quality and purity and testing standards, um, these are incredibly more safe than any of the other things that they're referring to. So of the 0.006 that do report a adverse reaction to the doTERRA oils, it's usually some kind of slight skin rash. So if you ever, if you're part of that 0.006%, which honestly I highly doubt, but if you are, all you need to do is apply some of your fractionated coconut oil, dilute that out, and maybe some lavender afterwards to soothe it. But um, just dilute it out. It's not going to cause any kind of permanent damage. Um, again, we talked about how doTERRA sources there oils from 43 countries, 26 of them being developing countries, um, meaning that we are in contact with some really impoverished communities. doTERRA is able to create good jobs and lift the lives of people in these countries. This was our new debut oil. One of those opportunities for us to lift up the lives is now in Paraguay, which is a new co-impact source for Pettigrain. Pettigrain essential oil is, it's, well, Dr. Hill will talk about that in a little bit, or he did talk about that. Um, but it's distilled from the twigs and leaves of the bitter orange tree. When, we, when they went to Paraguay to find this, they saw that there was abandoned distilleries and, and that most of those had been because the previous um, people who had been distilling pedigree there had exploited the communities and started using petroleum products to yield higher quantities and really it just caused a breakdown of the whole pedigree industry in Paraguay. Um, so to play, replace the income, these families, they first cleared the land for logging, sold all the lumber. When that was done, then they started to grow soy. By growing soy in a, not a natural environment, they were using really, really harsh chemicals in their farming process, um, which for the children and adults in that community, because they're spraying so close. I mean, it would be as if someone was spraying on the street right outside my house without any protection. Um, it caused skin eruptions, respiratory ailments, and significantly decreased life expectancies for these communities. Um, so what doTERRA has done is gone in and started sustainably farming and educating these communities. Let me show you real fast. The, there we go. Here's my pedigree essential oil, and it smells... It's, it's something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, it's, it's new. But the pedigree, it smells really good, and I highly encourage you when you get this one, try it on yourself. Try it on, on your significant other. Try it on a friend. I'm finding, and we found last night, that it smells really different on everyone who tries it. So, um, oh. And last night, what I love, someone said that when she tried it for the first time and she was trying to place it, and she said that it's more like going to a place. Like, the aroma is not something that you can say, oh, it smells like dot, 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 whatever. Um, she was saying that it smells like I've been somewhere. It smells like I've been hiking. And I just love that, that it put her into an environment. So um, yeah, I'm loving the pairing essential oil. So. Of course, I'm going to be oiling up during this whole presentation as we're talking about this. All right. Let me make myself disappear. We'll go back to the presentation. Um, one of the families there, the quote on the bottom, the highest and noblest work in this life is that of a mother. Emily shared that because one of the families that they met in Paraguay um, had 11 children, and they had one chicken. 
and their food, their food sources were just so limited. They're incredibly impoverished. So, but that mother watching her love her children and provide for her children was just so beautiful. Um, and they're happy that they're going to be improving these lives. They already have started improving the lives of these families. The second essential oil that they debuted is spikenard. Spikenard is from Nepal, which is another one of our co-impact sourcing um, locations where we have gotten wintergreen in the past. That was a new one last year. But now they have spikenard there as well. Um, so since, because we are already there in an established location, we are able to help in the 2012 earthquake as well as the 2015 earthquake last year. Um, the 7.8 magnitude earthquake killed 10,000 people. Since then, um, since that earthquake, doTERRA has helped build two new schools. And those schools are the first permanent earthquake proof, government approved structures in the country. Um, they've also helped build 200 temporary homes and 70 permanent homes for the people of Nepal. And the very next day because we already had our relationships there because we already um, knew those communities and knew how to get to them we were able to provide relief funds and supplies six hundred and thirty five thousand dollars in in lentils and rice and blankets and things that these people needed right away um, we were there on the ground so spike nard is the new oil Spikenard, um, talk about more in a second. I can show you this little bottle right here. All right, so Spikenard, little bottle, is explained as the new, not the new frankincense, but like frankincense, is as we've all heard, when in doubt, use frankincense. When in doubt, you can now use Spikenard. Spikenard um, has a really, really earthy, somewhat spicy scent to it. Um, it's great for the skin. We can talk about the benefits more. But the sustainability aspect of it, um, there's only 15 to 20 days of the year that this can be harvested. I really like it after it's on the pedigree. It's really nice with things. It's, it threw me off a little bit, not gonna lie. When I first smelled this bike guard, I was not sure about it. But as I've been smelling it more, it's starting to grow on me especially after last night. Last night, I really changed my feelings about it a lot. Um, when they harvest this, 10% of it is put back into the ground. So 10% of that root system needs to go back into the ground. Um, if you drop it out, I guess I should look harder, but it's like a dark green color, which is really cool. Most of our essential oils don't have a lot of color. But the dark green color only comes from the specific source, which is above the tree line of the Himalayas. Get rid of my book here. Um, it's calming, relaxing, purifying to the skin. Again, it's similar to frankincense. And it's from one of the, the poorest regions in Nepal. Again, it's part of our co-impact sourcing. And this new relationship is creating thousands of new jobs just from this one oil. I'm loving it. I love getting all oiled up while I do things. They're back! So Roman Chamomile and Melissa are going to be available for order December 1st. I'm so excited because I've been waiting for chamomile since the day I enrolled. I thought I would be able to get it right away. It's been a year and a half since I enrolled and I'm so excited to get the chamomile. So those will be available December 1st. I highly suggest when December rolls around that opens up, do your LRP order early um, because we want to make sure we all get those. They are limiting two per account, so I'm sure they have enough, but you never know. You don't want to miss out. It might disappear again. And then Melissa, beautiful, beautiful Melissa. So I'm so excited to try that because I haven't yet. I have not yet gotten to try a drop of just Melissa. So really looking forward to getting those. Plus an insider hint for your LRP order in December. I, I would be surprised if they didn't do it this year, but every year they do frankincense 
is the free oil with a 200 PV order, which should be very, very easy to hit when we're getting that cameo and Melissa and whatever else you need when you get your, you know, your vitamins and toothpaste and all that, you're going to hit that 200 really fast. So you're going to get the frankincense for free too in December. So keep that in mind. All right. So Dr. David Hill, he came up and he started doing his presentation after Emily. Um, I'm getting all excited in my notes. Let me skip ahead here. Um, and he was teaching us more about these new oils. So pedigrain, again, it's steam distilled from the leaves and twigs of the bitter orange tree, very similar to lavender. They were actually explaining as like the man's lavender. Can be used topically, aromatically, and internally. And it blends really well with citrus oils or the cinnamon of the cassia on cinnamon, eucalyptus, geranium, lemongrass. The primary benefits of pedigree, it's great for cardiovascular function, antioxidant support, it's, it helps boost our immunity, it helps us sleep easier, it eases any tension, calms the nervous system, and can be also supportive to the digestive system. Um, so again, he was saying it's very similar to lavender, but it has different compounds. So they, you can use both of them at the same time, or you can use them separately, but same effects, different compounds. Um, you can use it aromatically to decrease feelings of depression and increase happiness. We were running it in the diffuser yesterday. I loved it. It was really, really nice. Um, topically, you can use it to calm certain areas. So just as you would put lavender over a rash or something, you can use pedigree in that same way to apply it topically where you need it. And then to ease any vascular tension, vascular tension, um, <laughs> you can, that's caused by obesity, pathology, whatever, stress, take two to three capsules of, pet, two to three drops of pedigree in a capsule um, every day. Um, he also talked about the immune suppression pathway, which he kind of invented that phrase, but the inhalation of linalool, which is in pedigree, it's one of the compounds on there, it actually repressed 100 negative, I'm sorry, 109 of the negative genes um, affecting our immune systems. And it actually enhanced six genes that support our immune system. So pedigree is very powerful in help, helping keep us healthy. Spike nard, um, recommended for topical and aromatic use. So take note, it's not recommended for internal use. Um, the primary benefits is cleansing and clarifying to the skin. It supports our immunity. It, it, it helps our cognitive functioning, supports our respiratory system. Um, it eases any kind of discomfort. It helps us relax. Cell renewal, which is, again, that's another one that's in frankincense too, and endocrine balancing, so helping balance out those hormones. When in doubt, use spikenard. And again, you can pair it with things too. I'm loving this pedigree spikenard aroma that I've got going on right now. Dr. Tori Parker, he introduced more new products. So, oh, I just realized I, my son's vitamins are right in the kitchen, but he introduced the new A to Z chewable kids vitamins. So I went to grab those real fast. So there, what he talked about is that children are not just little adults. They really require their own nutrition. So he actually had his kids introduce these products, which is super cute. He's got I think it was five boys, super cute. So these are new A to Z chewable vitamins. It looks just like the other bottle, except for now they have natural watermelon flavor. So, and they're really good. They're really good. You know, we try to make convince them that they're, they're delicious. They're kids chewable vitamins. They've got to be tasty, right? Um, so these now include vitamin K and chromium, a natural lemon peel folate, and a cognitive blend. So those have been improved. And they have the PB Assist probiotic satchel, or PB Assist Junior. So probiotics are so important for all of our health, which means they're so important for our kids' health. So it helps their immune system. It helps their digestion. Um, Five billion live cells are absorbed in these. So it comes in this box. It's a 30-day supply. And then it's the, they're kind of like, think of it as like a pixie stick. 
Our son loves them already. They're really yummy. They're like stupid yummy. Like it, it just make sure they're getting one a day of these. But I'm just pop it open. And he's so cute. He goes, oh, like a little bird. And he pour it in his mouth. Um, my son is too. So he loves these already. He loves his vitamins every day. It's his little treat. So probiotics for your kids. All right, so let me make myself smaller so you can see the slide. All right, there we go. 33% um, of Americans are not getting enough sleep. Lack of restful sleep impacts your, our immune systems, our cardiovascular systems, overall health, as well as the ability to lose and maintain a healthy weight, which is one of the epidemics we see in our country. Um, and we all know we just don't feel as good when we don't get enough sleep. They had a whole sleep section. Um, I'll do a separate class for that. But they introduced the Serenity Restful Complex. I just realized, where did that go? Here it is. So they introduced the Serenity Restful Complex. That's now a, a supplement that you can take. And I know so many people are really happy about this. I have a couple of team members already who are like, okay, we need that. My mom needs that. Um, this is a mix of herbs and essential oils. So it has lavender which you can take internally. So it has a lavender in here, but it also has German chamomile, passion flower, and lemon balm are the herbs that are in here. Help you sleep. And this one, again, I'll do it in the class, but this was the first clinical trial that Notera actually ran was with the Serenity Restful Complex. So, and what the, the results were great. What they found is that everyone who used it improved and those who actually had sleep issues gained the most benefit from it. It worked equally well in men and women. Um, and they got better, more restful sleep when they did use it as opposed to when they didn't. Um, and then Serenity, which we all love this blend anyway. It used to be Serenity, the calming blend. Now it is, let's see if shutting that door helps a little bit. That might help you see. Um, it does a little bit. So now it's called Serenity, the restful blend. You can see we've already used quite a bit of our bottle. We love it now. So now Serenity includes, the Serenity Restful Blend includes vetiver, cedarwood, and hoe wood, which we were using cedarwood and vetiver with our Serenity anyway, and that's something I always recommend in my classes. So, um, so yeah, now we're using just this one, and we love it. It just takes, it smells the same. It still has that lavender and vanilla smell. I used to call it vanilla cupcake, or lavender cupcake. I'm going to have to change that. but. Um, it's just, to me, it's a little bit yummier. It takes a little bit of that sweetness out. So we love the new Serenity blend. And I've already had like three little miracles. My son is not the best sleeper, no matter how many oils we use. He's just a wild child. And um, it's happened three times this week where I've been putting him down for a nap. And I'll be running some in the diffuser, some Serenity in the diffuser. And he's, he's not just, he's just not quite going to sleep. So I'll take a drop and I'll just put that serenity right on his back. And within one time was, I swear, 30 seconds, he was asleep. One time it was like two minutes. The other time was about three minutes. But he falls asleep so fast with this. So I love the new serenity blend. All right, let me make myself go away. Let's see what else we got here. So more new products. The Emotional Aromatherapy Kit that was debuted last year. It now has now in the touch blend. Let me set myself up again. So these are you can have it the aromatherapy aromatherapy emotional aromatherapy kit in touch, which is awesome because in our team, you know, we talked a lot about when you're using the emotional blends topically to make sure that you are diluting them. Um, these are already diluted. I'm gonna use Motivate. Love Motivate. Everyone loves Motivate. It's citrus, mint, and yumminess. Um, and then it has this new roller. Make sure you can see that. So this is the new roller. It's a steel ball. It has a leak-proof um, rim on here. And so now the rollers are all going to switch over to that. So the emotional aromatherapy one already has 
that roller. Um, and um, all the touch blends are going to switch to that. So our regular doTERRA touch line of like the On Guard, Lavender, Digestin, all those ones that we use for our family, they're all going to be switching over to the new steel leak proof um, roller this fall. So in the next few months, everything will be changed over to this. And it goes on really, really smooth. It's very consistent. So the emotional aromatherapy touch line is new. And then let me make myself a little smaller here. Um, the moisturizing bath bar. Mine's still in the box. I feel like I got to treasure this. But we're going to have a spa party here. If you're in Albuquerque area, we're going to have a spa party. So you can even smell it through the box. It smells so good. I guess I'll open it. So the bath bar, the moisturizing bath bar is a mix of bergamot, grapefruit, jojoba oil, aloe vera juice, vegetable glycerin. You smell a lot of that bergamot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we got to try all of these at convention. Lathers really nicely. It doesn't leave any kind of residue on your hand. Just really smooth and yummy. Ooh, smells really, really good. There's also the refreshing body wash. This one's new. All of the new products are going to be available October 3rd. Okay, so October 3rd, these are going to be available available for purchase. But if you come hang out with me, you want to set up time with me, try them out, check them out, let's do it here. Um, or if you come to the October 1st, we have a wellness meeting in Edgewood, New Mexico. Um, and we'll do them there too. So the body wash, um, I've been loving this. I'm trying to use it sparingly, but it smells just lovely bergamot smell. Bergamot, um, if you're not familiar with it, it's a really great gentle citrus cleanser. Um, and that one comes from Sicily. It's so nice, really refreshing. Um, that has bergamot, cedarwood, grapefruit in it. And then the detoxifying mud mask, I got to try this out. Some of you saw my Facebook picture with my face all white. Um, the detoxifying mud mask, I smell mostly juniper. The juniper berry stands out most to me. It also has myrrh, which is really great for the skin, and grapefruit. Um, and this, again, these are all natural products. Um, someone was asking me that the other day, like, are they all natural? Are they safe? They are. Um, I love that. doTERRA is really committed to making safe natural products. The exfoliating body scrub. This is a sugar scrub with wild orange, ginger, and grapefruit. Oh, it smells really, really good. I mean, it's just getting really, really soft. Um, love the sugar scrub. There's also a body butter with wild orange, Douglas fir, frankincense. Um, love that body butter. And I'm not going to do it now. My screen might be all greasy. And then the moisturizing lip balm. Um, I use the wild orange and peppermint lip balm anyway that they had, but now they have the original. So it will come in these three varieties. So the original is the wild orange and peppermint. And then there's also the herbal flavor. I haven't actually tried it yet. Let's see. Ooh, it has spearmint, marjoram, lemon. Yeah, spearmint, marjoram, and lemon. Mm, mm, that sounds really good. And then the tropical blend, that one has lime, clementine, and ylang ylang. And that one, so that one's, I have a feeling that'll be the most popular. Um, so now there's three of those lip balms to choose from. The hand and body lotion, the citrus bliss lotion, the rose lotion, um, these have all got upgrades. So now they all include that L22 moisturizer. They're super smooth. So the citrus bliss lotion, um, some of you already love that. It has the citrus bliss, that creamsicle kind of smell to it. Um, and then the, the this one, the regular hand and body lotion, this is fragrance free. So this is a great carrier to just use with your other essential oils. All right, let me click out of myself here. Okay. So Dr. Hill was talking about the quality of the essential oils. Um, I know I've mentioned it, but it's so important to understand. Only three of the quote unquote top eight companies in essential oils claim to do testing on their oils. And of the other ones, they claim to be pure, but they don't provide any testing. So that is like a huge red flag, I think, for trustworthiness. Um, in addition to 
the standard GCMS testing, doTERRA also performs 11 additional tests for their essential oils. The exclusive ARC plot testing that they do, they, that determines if there's any biochemical pairs that don't match. So that's how they would be able to tell, that's how they are able to tell if there's any synthetic, synthetic properties to the oil or if they are substituting out an oil. So one of the examples that he gave us is one of our top, you could say competitors, but you don't really compare. Their Melissa is actually adulterated lemongrass. Melissa is incredibly expensive and it's hard to source adequately. Um, but they're able to offer it, and the reason why is because it's actually adulterated lemongrass. The demand for essential oils as pure therapies now exceeds the natural production of the individual oils. So that's why there's so many people or so many companies that are using synthetics for adultering the oils so that they can still maintain supply for the demand. doTERRA is a science company. They have a medical advisory board of eight physicians. They're all from different specialties. We got to hear from them. Um, partner with 111 hospitals and universities who are using these oils and researching them. Um, as well as a partnership with John Hopkins School of Medicine, Dr. Nicole Parrish, she's been performing extensive research on specific oils and organisms with incredible results, and those will be published. Um, so she couldn't tell us everything, but what she did, I'm not going to get into her whole presentation, was incredible. Like when she was seeing how the oils work against different um, different organisms and superbugs was incredible. So doTERRA was chosen and has been chosen by all of these partnerships because of their quality of each batch. It's got to be consistent. It's got to be pure. When they're doing any kind of science or medical research, you have to have as few variables as possible. You have to know exactly which chemical compounds you're working with. You have to be able to duplicate the results. doTERRA is the only brand of essential oils that's able to offer that consistency. So Dr. Nicole Parrish of John Hopkins, um, this is just a couple of her slides. One of the 2013 um, articles, Essential Oils and Future Antibiotics, New Weapons Against Emerging Superbugs? The answer is yes. The answer is that, like we've been saying in classes, we do not build up resistance to essential oils. They continue to work with the cells in our bodies. They enhance um, multiple aspects and they work together. So you can't take out one of the properties, one of the compounds of the essential oils and say, oh, this is a therapeutic value. This is a therapeutic molecule. And we're just gonna synthesize that or make a synthetic form and replicate. That can't be done. Essential oils are very complex um, combinations of compounds that they work together and something about the way they work together um, is what is the therapeutic value and what's able to fight all these organisms, microorganisms. So in her study, she was trying to find out are some essential oils better than others against different microbial organisms? So which essential oils fight which one? Do particular combinations improve activity, which she found out absolutely? And how exactly do they work? That's the big one. That's the big one that we're all waiting to hear. How exactly do they work? And I think that she's still waiting to figure out exactly how they're able to do this. Do they differ in their activity? Do they demonstrate activity against the most difficult strains? Um, yes, 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 yes. Corey Lindley, um, then he, we moved on after Dr. Nicole Parrish, I hate to summarize her event that small, but in the interest of time, um, we're going to move on to global sourcing. So the doTERRA difference is that sourcing matters to us so much. Our number one concern, the company's number one concern, is with supply. Um, we have to maintain a supply of these essential oils to continue our growth. He made a great analogy with Fruit Loops. You're crazy if you think that Fruit Loops actually have fruit. If that is actually a source of fruit, you are severely mistaken. Therefore, he's comparing that to essential oils are not necessarily doTERRA essential oils. 
So you can't just go to Whole Foods or you can't just buy this other brand that's cheap or you can just get something on Amazon. It's just not the same. Um, and you're crazy if you think that it is. doTERRA standards are unmatched. They, hands down, unmatched. Um, for our sourcing, a good comparison to understand why sourcing is such a huge concern for doTERRA. 95% of the farms in the United States are owned by big agricultural businesses. That Compare that with African countries, 85% of the farms are owned by small farmers with five acres or less. So when we go and we're sourcing in these other countries, doTERRA cannot put local farmers out of business. They've got to maintain our values and work with these farmers. So 85, 84% of doTERRA sourcing is exclusive. It's controlled sourcing, and it's, they do not source with anyone else. These are direct relationships with the farmers. Um, the other 16% would be when we have farmers coming from other areas, like in Bulgaria, um, where they farm lavender. We have a lavender farm there. That's our, that's our one farm that we do own. It just opened this last year. It's a farm and distillery and testing facility. So in Bulgaria, they're now starting to get farmers who are coming from, I think they said like 150 kilometers around um, that area, bringing lavender for distillation. Well, what they're able to do, since they don't have, exclu they don't have exclusive relationships with these farmers yet, they're able to test right there on the spot. So the farmers that bring the highest quality lavender, they are testing that to see the quality and then those farmers are paid bonuses depending on the quality that they bring. So that would be the other 16% is where we are testing things first before we're accepting them. Um, but they're still coming from the right source. They're still coming from the right region and testing for quality standards. Here's a peek at some of the global sources that we have all over the world. Just a peek. We're moving on. Um, the three main focuses, I guess this one got a little thrown off, but the three main focuses of our global sourcing is to ensure quality of, this, of the product. Ensure quantity. You have to make sure that we can have enough to meet the demand and to formalize and maintain the long-term relation partnerships that are required to ensure the quality and quantity. Um, for formalizing and maintaining those long-term partnerships is what makes the quality and quantity possible. So there's four sourcing principles they start with whenever they're looking at a source. First, they want to see if they're able to generate jobs. If bringing and making that a doTERRA source will generate jobs. Two, provide fair and on-time payments, which has been a huge source of exploitation in the essential oil industry prior to doTERRA is that people weren't getting fair payment or paid at all um, to build the supplier capacity. So we want to help them thrive and build their own business and for sustaining long-term partnerships. This is not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am situation. We're in this for the long haul. These are long-term partnerships that we're forming. So when we talk about co-impact sourcing, we talk about creating shared value. These communities are so grateful to be working with doTERRA, and doTERRA is so grateful that these communities are a source for us. Um, these are ethical supply chains in rural communities, so that person-to-person -person relationship is so significant. Um, so five additional sourcing principles that the sourcing team looks for is to create fair labor conditions. Promote cooperatives, like we talked about in Africa, but these cooperatives are so important to the whole community. Ensure environmental stewardship. That's the sustainability, the organic farming of everything. We want to be stewards to the environment. And facilitating community development. So the schools, the health clinics, the female education, um, building home, bringing emergency supplies, all of that. Um, there's actually an article. Let's see if I can get out of here for a second. I want to show you an article in Forbes magazine. I 
guess you're not seeing this. Let's try. There we go. Move to this. Okay, so now you should see. This is in Forbes magazine. Um, this is a May 2016 article. Doterra reinvents the supply chain for impact on poverty. Um, like David Sterling was talking about, we want to be a leader in the industry. We want to show people that you can do business without exploiting people. We can actually build up these communities. Um, by helping them, which helps us also. Let's go back to this one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Okay. Should we see this now? Whoops. All right. So, look at that. So, a few of the stories I just want to share with you, real quick, um, from some of our other co impact sourcing um, relationships. One of them is in Kenya. In Kenya, um, they're able to partner commercial model for, sorry they are able to provide training and guaranteed payment to these farmers to help them create more of a commercial model farm um, in partnership with a small scale farming um, growth it gives them access to more resources it provides the farmers with collective benefits so the farmers are able to benefit as a community altogether. It attracts new farmers, and these farmers can now afford to send their children to school for the first time because of their increased income and because of their shared benefits. Um, in Madagascar, let's see, I guess I'll switch, it. I'll go to Bulgaria next. Bulgaria, where I said we are farming lavender. Um, those, it's an increase to the farmers there because they're getting fair and on-time payments. They're getting more for the higher quality um, essential oils. And it's the first place that we have owned the farm, started a distillery right there, and pay, people are getting paid the same day. They bring the lavender, they're paid for lavender in the same day. In Haiti, um, which is one of my favorite stories, of Vetiver is our co-impact source in Haiti. Um, it's an exclusive relationship. 35 people have full-time jobs just distilling the vetiver in Haiti. And the facility that we've created, it's for fresh water, which was an issue they didn't have fresh water. That supports five, I'm sorry, 4,000 families. 4,000 of the farming community families now have fresh water. I misspoke last night when I spoke, told someone, I said, I think it's 500. I was looking at my notes again this morning. It's 4,000 families actually now have fresh water. Um, they've built a new treatment facility there. And 3,400 people now have access to clean water on a daily basis. Um, there's, they've built a school that's close to the homes and the community. There's now three new wells and water stations. Um, three new ones are being built which acts as, gives more water to the vetiver communities. And they've rebuilt, rehabilitated community school there, which opens up education to the children of those communities as well. And then lastly, for this presentation, in Madagascar, um, they've built a health clinic. Madagascar is where we, we source Yelang um, and formed a cooperative there for that Yelang harvest. 900 people in 10 communities now receive weekly on-site doctor visits and continued family care. The health clinic that they're forming there, um, it's for all kinds of health, but it's focused primarily on um, female health, so helping, like a birthing center kind of feel, um, and just teaching women about taking care of themselves. So it's really important that we understand 
um, about the co-impact sourcing, because that's a huge difference with doTERRA. It's not only are we, it's not just essential oils, it's what are we doing to impact the world in a positive way. This growing network is second to none. So a way that you can learn more about the doTERRA sources is a brand new website that was launched last week called source to youcom source to youcom shows you the growers, distillers, scientists, and practitioners who are using this. Let me show you that page. Let me just talk there for a second. So this is source to youcom You're able to look through and click on, you want to learn more about growers, you want to learn more about distillers. Um, you can click through here. This is New York organic way. Um, and learn more about these stories and exactly how everything is done. Um, there's the science, there's practitioners. All of this is right here, and you're able to access all this information now and learn more. There's videos, there's links, there's articles, and all of that is on here. What's going to be coming, um, it can't be accessed yet, but what's going to be coming to the Source 2 website starting in November, you are going to be able to look for the lot number that's on the bottom of your essential oil bottle. Plug that into the Source 2 website, and you will be able to see the GCMS test report for that batch of oil. That kind of transparency is un heard of. Um, normally in, the, in this industry we're like fighting to get reports from other companies. That is just not the case with doTERRA. They are 100% transparent. So we love um, that you're going to be able to look up that actual batch test for your oils. That starts November 2016. In just a second here. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on to the next person. The next person to present um, was Laura Jacobs. And Laura Jacobs is one of the leaders in the doTERRA business. And she talked about how much our mind and body are connected. What we believe to be true is the single most factor of how we feel. Um, she brought so much, so much data, so much data. I'm totally summarizing here. But um, she used a quote from Sigmund Freud that unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. When we don't feel good emotionally, that directly impacts our physical health. So what can we do? We can introduce new stimuli. So rather than sitting that emotion and letting it manifest in negative physical ways, we can bring essential oils into our life and choose our mood. Re rewire our brain with the use of essential oils. So it gives you direct access, direct access to the brain um, by using those essential oils. So instead of just feeling sad or feeling angry, you could use forgive. Um, if you use that forgive oil, it's going to help dissipate that anger and help you move on. Um, if you need to feel consoled and comforted, comforted, use console in that moment. When I've had moments where I just feel emotionally overwhelmed. I, and I use my oils. One of the things I love about the console oil, if I'm crying and I use console, I'm done crying in like a minute. It just does this thing to my brain where I'm over it in just a minute. And it's, it's pretty incredible. Um, so choose your mood. And a, one way to do that is the doTERRA daily drop app. So the doTERRA daily drop app is free in whatever app store you use. It's on all of them. Let me go ahead and start a video here. I'm gonna pull up. This is my doTERRA daily drop app. So what you can do on this app, there's lots of different ways you can, you can learn about, what did I click on? Emotional wellness would be one of the tracks. They have children, lifestyle, athletes, um, so the daily drop app, you're able to get a video a day on on all these things. So I would I could learn about emotional wellness right here. This is my video for the day. I'll skip out of that right now. Because what I really want to show you is one of the features here that determine your mood. 
when you determine your mood, when you use this on the doTERRA app, so let's say, how are you feeling? It has all these negative emotions you might be feeling. So I can't really see all these in the computer in your reflection, but you would scroll all these, rate them. So let's say I'm feeling kind of bored, really angry, kind of ashamed, a little sad. What else is here? Tense, I'm feeling very tense. You can, you rate all of your feelings on here. And then at the bottom, show results. So what that's gonna do is then it's gonna pop up here and tell you which, which of the essential oil blends would be best for you. So for the, and I, whatever I click, forgive. You know, if I could use forgive, and they'll tell me why. So rub, rub forgive over your heart to help you forgive yourself and others. Help you forgive and forget, rub into your temples. Have on hand throughout the day to counteract negative emotions that may arise from undesirable situations. And then it'll also show me, view a daily drop for feeling bitter, angry, ashamed. It's just so thorough and balanced on here. It would give me the same kind of information, videos for all of that. So determine your mood app or determine your mood feature on the daily drop app. It's really a game changer and it'll help you process it. If you are able to process your emotions by really clicking through and assessing how you feel and then applying the oils in those situations, you're going to rewire your brain. I have had significant emotional growth. Um, from all the things I used to deal with, it's just amazing how using the oils has really rewired my brain. So get that app, okay? Let's see, make myself go away here. All right. Um, okay. So then we heard from the doTERRA physician panel. This is these are the eight physicians. Um, there's an oncologist, a pediatrician, ear, nose, and throat doctor, um, OBGYN, just like every every kind of doctor you can think of, anesthesiologist. Um, it was really, really great to hear from all of them and how they're using the oils in their in their practices. I'll look at my notes here. Um, one of them was an OBGYN who actually gave a large presentation, so that'll be a separate class from this summary. But the Toterra Physicians panel was talking about how the clinical experience, you know, when they go in with their white coat, that can be really dehumanizing. What most of us have come to expect from Muscular Medicine and that doctor visit is not always the most connected. Um, and they're looking to change that. They have changed it so far using essential oils in their practices. Um, some of the studies that are going to be done with the research that's been performed um, will be published in the American Journal of Nursing. When something is published in a medical journal, that officially makes it mainstream. So essential oils are now mainstream. You don't have to worry about being some crazy hippie or whatever, whatever negative connotations people may think about essential oils. Um, these are mainstream. They're moving fast and furious into the medical industry. Um, one of the biggest questions of essential oils is, is internal use safe? Again, you can find all kinds of negative information on Google, but the answer is yes, internal use is safe. And the doctors were so funny um, to show that, they all decided just to take a shot right there. They all had their own bottle of essential oil in their pocket. They all stood up and they all put a drop right into their mouth um, of the essential oils don't have anything to worry about. They're safe for all age groups because of the doTERRA sourcing, because of the certified pure therapeutic grade testing standards that doTERRA has. That means that they are safe. You can be using these for your whole family. Um, and it exemplifies hope. That's what they appreciated the most, is that as doctors, they are trained to take care of people. And this is how they are able to do that more effectively by giving people real hope and tangible things that they can be using to improve their health. Um, it's, these are great complementary complementary medicine forms um, by using essential oils with the regular Western medicine. Um, you're able to feel better and improve your results by using the essential oils. They really want to redefine what healthcare is, what it will be, and what it can be. Um, 
it's just it was really awesome to see physicians from all different forms talking about this because a lot of people question the safety of essential oils or all that nothing to worry about um nothing at all and i feel so confident having gone to convention saying we have nothing to worry about with the, with using essential oils one of the last um speakers for day two was a really inspirational speaker named callie wilson she is, I apologize, I think I misspelled her name. Um, but Callie, you might have seen her in some of the doTERRA videos. Um, she talked about what it is to be a wellness advocate. In a nutshell, that's what she talked about. One of the things she did was define the word wellness. Wellness is the quality or state of being healthy in body and mind, especially as a result of deliberate effort, which we do by using essential oils. If you use essential oils, you are deliberately making an effort to improve your physical and mental health. It's also an approach to healthcare that emphasizes preventing illness and prolonging life, as opposed to emphasizing treating disease. So what all the doctors talk about, each of the, not just the physician's panel, but um, the other doctor speakers that they were, was that this is preventative medicine and that reactionary medicine just doesn't work. When, when we're waiting for a problem to come up and then solve it, it's not as effective as being healthy and preventing illness before it happens. And then being an advocate for wellness, you're a champion, you're a proponent, you back wellness with everything you've got. And you're able to be that gift for someone right now by advocating for their wellness, by advocating for your wellness, um, by advocating that living a preventative lifestyle and taking care of ourselves and not waiting for something bad to happen. Um, that is a gift that people need to hear and we're responsible for sharing that with others. Um, so I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for joining this presentation. Um, and again, if you have any questions, um, just add them to the event page. Right there, you can add a comment. I'll make sure that I reply so that everyone can see the answers. Um, in our Essential Oils Connection group, I'll also be posting the answers there. Make, make a commitment to go to the convention next year. Whatever level you are at, make a commitment to go. Um, I would love to help you get there. Let's go. Let's go to convention. You and your spouse, my husband, is he's taking care of the baby right now. Oh, sorry. Um, but he is just his whole perspective has been changed so if you have a significant other who you're using the oils with or if you're not using the oils with them or bring them to convention and it is a game changer i know that you're going to have an incredible time you just are um so i hope this is helpful so you got a sneak peek about a little bit of what's going on at convention and i will see you there next year any other questions that you have, any new products you want to try, any of that, let me know. Please like my Facebook page, Essential Oils Live Well, Live Free, and subscribe to my YouTube channel under Jennifer Sandoval. And I look forward to talking to you all soon. Live well, live free, live doTERRA. Bye, everyone. <laughs>